here's a vintage item if you consider the year 2000 vintage Intel pocket PC camera at or away from your PC take pictures record video anywhere create PC movies make clear video phone calls send email postcards more pictures with eight megabytes of memory same stuff there there's some of our specifications I don't know if I have a system that can do this we'll see I do have somewhere a PC with Windows 98 on it don't know how much of it still works it does have a CD-ROM I haven't used it in a long time uh, let's see don't have an ISP or a modem like that camera 8 megabytes of flash memory VGA resolution 640 by 480 50 degree field of view frame rate up to 30 frames per second slow motion video video blah, blah. Save as AVI, snapshots, 640 by 480. I hear some rattling around in there. On the back. Uh, very similar information. It talks about create and share software. I think I did a video on a webcam couple years ago that had that same software so I might not have to load this software on it we'll see but mine was just a regular webcam that video it's not a take it anywhere camera let's see here what do we got there interesting thing about this it appears to be factory seal that that factory seal doesn't look to me like it's ever cut well what do you say we cut it I've done the deed haven't I all right well they made that a lot more difficult than it needed to be it's a terrible try to get that out of the box here's the camera extraordinarily light speaker USB jack everything else focus lens Place for a wrist strap which I found in the uh, carrying case display power button it had four old uh, Toshiba triple A's in it I'm gonna leave those in the sack use different newer ones there's a space for some batteries why don't I put some batteries in there okay I put four new batteries in it so power button mode button cycles through some various settings video okay get that snapshot button the thing is incredibly light uh, and it feels terribly chintzy and there's our instructions pretty much basic and our display 
I can't. Our cycles. Trying to change modes, take snapshots, camera warnings, and how to connect it to the computer. Well, um, I might take a few practice snapshots around the house and things like that. And then we'll see if I have a system that can get anywhere in here and do this stuff on the computer. And like I say, I had this software before, create and share software for a webcam I have. So I don't think I'll have to reload all this. Quick start. Lots of different languages here. Lots of different languages. But pretty much for our purposes, we'll be on the far left there. Get an online manual things like that. All of this stuff I notice is dated uh, the year 2000. So that gives us a frame of time there. Well, I'm going to take some pictures and check the computer out and see what I can do. And hopefully we'll get some things going here. Well, I've been taking some shots. And I found a couple things out that are interesting. If you want to know how many photographs, snapshots you can take that are remaining, press that in halfway, 112. And it takes 10 second video clips, up to 10 second video clips. I think it takes 10 of them. If you want to know how many seconds left of video you have, once again, depress the shutter button halfway. 106 seconds left. So, high quality photos, regular quality. Multiple shot. The other one was. That's the timer, yeah, I didn't mention that. Continuous shot, video, back to high quality, and press the mode button for five seconds. You can turn off the sounds. And press it again for five seconds and they should come back on. So just some experimenting, a couple of features. When I press to see how many high quality photos are remaining, it's 112. And regular quality, I could get 189. So there's a difference. And the focus ring here. You'll notice when that starts flashing, it means the infinity focus is not locked. You can go in or out, move it all the way to one location to get it to lock into infinity focus. Another thing on it, these little nubs here, I guess that's supposed to be a grip. You'd think it'd be some type of solid grip across the front plate, but no, these are all just individually raised nubs, a few millimeters high each. They feel kind of weird, like they shouldn't be there. Okay, I've set it to timer. Uh, put it on the tripod, or it's a little holder. Maybe that's not exactly a tripod. We'll see what happens. Well, you 
heard that. Maybe I got something. 11 photos now. Sorry for the fan noise from this computer tower I've got sitting right off to our left here. Maybe. I don't even know if it's still good. start my computer I guess so This does look a little different. Well, let's see if we have a camera. Well, the red light on the camera has come on down here. I'm out of center. Okay. Oh, great. I've still got my quarantine here. Well, we're not going to take a snapshot, but at least we know the camera works. Now, the thing is, is I put in 11 pictures on the or in a video in the camera, so how do I get those off? Okay, well I found a little thing at the bottom that says import pictures. So we'll try that. Importing pictures. So the old Intel Create and Share software did not have that icon for importing pictures. I don't think. At least I don't remember seeing it. So these are the ones I took with the little camera. Oh 
video, I guess. Wasn't much, was it? I don't know where my audio is. I had so much stuff plugged in down here wrong. I might have killed the audio for a minute. And that was the timer picture I was trying to take. Okay. What do I do? Am I supposed to do something? Get a haircut? I guess I'll hit play. Now what? I don't get it. I have to spend some time on these. Whoa! Now there's a good look for you. Don't know what that was. What happens next? I guess I escape. Escape again. Well, these aren't any fun for me. So I think that's going to include my efforts with this camera. My biggest problem was I could not use the old Intel Create and Share software with its camera hardware, firmware. I had to install the new Pocket PC camera firmware and go with that. That complicated things by an extra hour. Uh, trying to figure out this whole computer and get all the wires connected and things. But, so much for this old system from the year 2000. Maybe you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.